for all parents, they understand and well, they all, you know, have aspirations for their children. They always want to give better than what they had. And I believe the voice is that. My name is John Lahar. Uh, I'm the CEO of Absec New South Wales, which is the peak body for Aboriginal children and families. So I was born and raised in the inner west of Marrickville in what was then and probably still is a very multicultural community. A true, what I see as a true reflection of, um, of Australia and the types of things that are, whoosh, 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 that impact First Nations, um, that impact my family. In, in most, um, mostly my mum's family. The removal of children. Um, all the things that we all know too well, um, impacting mostly my mother's family. My mother didn't even finish year 10. She was born on a mission, um, left her country and came to the big smoke to ensure that she raised a family to be able to, to do the things that I do today. Uh, she wasn't an elite. My father, he's not an elite. He was a, ta he was a cab driver and that's how he, he took care of us. Um, but they're not elites and they're saying yes. I love my mum, I love the gift that she gave me, the gift of um, being an Aboriginal person in this country, you know, to be a part of the longest continual culture in, in the world um, is a blessing, but it's also a responsibility. And I think that's very much so for all Australians, that we've all got a responsibility as people of this country. We've all got to stand up and um, hopefully say yes to, to the voice. <laughs> Authorised by Dean Parkin, Australians for Indigenous Constitutional Recognition Limited, North Sydney.